Kunukwit Fisi, Uvanga Sikine Gexak, Uvanga Sandy, Koyana Kairiting Daimani College Fund Resources for Organizations. Greetings. Uh, my native name is uh, Sun is Shining. I go by Sandy. Thank you for coming to the College Fund Resources for Organizations workshop. Uh, this workshop is um, specifically geared to letting organizations know um, the different ways that the College Fund uh, partners um, with organizations um, to support Native student success. Um, so this is a professional development webinar um, specifically for um, target audiences such as um, high school um, staff members, tribal college uh, and university um, staff members, uh, mainstream college um, staff, um, tribal and other educational organizations. If you are a, a parent or um, a student, um, you're more than welcome to attend and learn about our resources. However, this is more um, geared towards the um, organization um, resources that we provide. Um, so um, feel free if you feel like this is not the um, correct webinar for you to uh, check out one of the other um, student and family centered webinars. Um, I would like to um, start by saying um, the chat is open. Um, this is by no means like a um, really formal presentation. So feel free to um, introduce yourself and what organization you work for in the chat. If you have questions throughout the presentation today, go ahead and drop um, those in the chat as well. Um, I, hope, I hope to see um, some repeat attendees from my session this morning, um, which was bridging um, partnerships um, between um, organizations. So this is kind of a continuance of that first one um, and really looking at the resources. So um, earlier this morning, we talked about um, what um, partnerships um, are happening on the ground between high schools and tribal colleges and other um, tribal and educational organizations. Um, and well, now we're going to get more into depth into the kind of the, um, the heart of the work that we do at the College Fund to support those um, partnerships and um, how it's done and um, what resources are available if you are interested in connecting with the College Fund. Thank you so much, Kyle, for introducing yourself. Um, everybody else, feel free to drop in the chat um, throughout this presentation um, your name and what organization you work for. And um, uh, feel free also to um, uh, let us know if you have questions throughout um, this, this webinar. Like I said, for those of you just coming um, in, um, this is um, this is a resources um, specific um, webinar um, for organizations. The College Fund offers many grants and um, other programming for um, organizations. Um, so if you feel like this is not the correct webinar, I will not be offended if anybody leaves um, and feels like they need to hop into something that's more student or um, parent specific. Um, and then just feel free to ask questions as we go along. All right, our agenda today will be to go over the college fund departments. Um, this is going to be important for me to kind of showcase um, the different areas the college fund works with Native communities and what those programs are um, so that you know um, as an organization what is available um, for um, you for support. Um, and we'll kind of do a brief walkthrough of um, the resources that are offered by each program um, to institutions. Um, and then we'll kind of go over um, what the general resources are because some of our um, offerings are program specific. So if you are a school that receives one of our grant, um, there are certain resources that we provide um, through that program. It's called the Higher Pathways Program or some resources that we provide for tribal colleges specifically. And then we also have general resources that are um, just um, shared um, no matter whether you're um, a uh, grantee or not. Um, so we'll go over those general resources and then we'll um, finish with the Q&A and share session at the end. Um, so as I'm talking today, um, I would like you to um, just think about what college res fund resources are you familiar with and how does your organization um, utilize them if they, if they um, do utilize them to promote student success and wellness. So just some things to kind of think about before we get started. It's nice to see um, all of the greetings um, and some of our, our, our current partners are, um, are uh, saying hi in the chat. Lucretia, it's nice to see you. Kirsten, I'm glad to um, see you made it um, to our second session today. 
So the College Fund is actually a really um, broad organization. Um, when people um, first learn about the College Fund, um, the American Indian College Fund, they, think, they tend to think about us as a scholarship organization, uh, but our, our organization um, does, um, we, we, do do, we do provide scholarships. We provide a lot of wraparound services in addition to scholarships. Um, so um, helping to build that understanding for you and you know, ways that we could partner with your organization is gonna be really helpful today to kind of go through the departments. So in um, student success um, services, uh, the, depart the department I work with, um, we have the scholarships team, um, obviously handling scholarships. Um, and then we have student engagement and communications. It's kind of like our marketing team that um, uh, really works to provide um, information to our partner organizations, students, um, the public um, on our uh, resources, um, programming that's happening throughout the year. Um, they're kind of like the communications hub for um, this department. And then we have college access. Um, which is where my department falls under. Um, I work for the College uh, Readiness Department, um, and that really focuses on um, supporting high school to college um, enrollment and providing supports for schools um, and uh, tribal colleges to increase um, student uh, high school student enrollment into college. Um, after us, there is the College Success Team. Uh, that department um, kind of takes the reins after students have gone through uh, maybe our higher pathways program and they um, if they've applied for our scholarships um, then they um, encounter our college success team which really works on creating um, programming and supports for um, those students who are our scholars um, to um, help them achieve success and retention um, and graduation um, in um, college so our our program doesn't really stop at the high school it kind of continues we, the supports continue on through uh, college. And then we also have um, a new department that has been really um, picking up steam and really um, it's really under development, but really excited to share that we have a now, we now have a TCU capacity for success um, department. And um, there are a couple of um, different programs housed within there. Um, so we have some um, TCU student um, success uh, program officers that were working with tribal colleges. Um, this, the heart of their work, work is really strategic enrollment management and helping uh, tribal colleges that they work with through their grant programs um, really uh, create and um, share and learn from each other um, about their strategic enrollment plans. And then um, working with them, we also have the college admissions and transfer um, department that is um, headed by uh, Nicolette Weston. She really works to uh, help um, tribal colleges develop um, supports um, for students that are transferring. And then not, uh, last but not least, we have career readiness. Um, that does, um, they touch on so many different areas that, um, that you see covered um, here. Uh, so they have um, done um, programming um, to um, help high schools become uh, career ready. Um, current college students, uh, they're kind of, um, one of our, our departments that um, really has a lot of relationality with all of um, the other departments that you see listed here. <clears throat> uh, getting in a little bit more into each department, um, we're going to start with scholarships. So scho scholarships um, really works with our full circle scholarship. Um, if you are familiar with our scholarship, um, we it's actually one application that's called the Full Circle Scholarship or the Full Circle Scholarship application. Um, when, a, when a student um, applies for that scholarship, they become um, eligible for, um, we, I think we have over 200 um, plus different scholarships from different donors. Um, and so we um, take that one application um, and take the information um, that the students um, give us as they complete the application and match them to um, the scholarships that um, are most relevant to um, the responses they provided. So um, this is a really uh, a great opportunity for students to actually um, apply and um, be considered for a, a, you know, a very diverse array of uh, scholarships. Um, some stats from our scholarship team. Um, in 21-22, we dispersed over $11.8 million in scholarship funds to over 3,200 students attending 250 different colleges and universities. 
And um, that included scholarships um, pursuing vocational bachelor, master, and doctoral programs. Um, eligibility for um, the scholarships um, are that students need to be enrolled um, full time. Uh, they need to attend an accredited nonprofit college or university. Cumulative GPA is 2.0. Um, they should be an enrolled tribal member or a descendant of one. Um, and then our priority deadline um, each year is May 31st. However, um, we do take um, applications on a rolling basis. <clears throat> the next department I was gonna give you just another little, um, uh, a little bit of information on before we move like really in depth into the resources is our student engagement and communications um, department. One of the things that I want to do a really big shout out for um, their work is they uh, put out our monthly newsletter. Uh, this is an example of one of the newsletters that you would um, get in an email. Um, you can um, have um, you can sign up for it. Uh, parents can sign up for it. Students can sign up for it. I really encourage everybody to consider signing up for it because this newsletter provides um, really up-to-date information um, every uh, month on um, our scholarships, um, other organizations that have scholarships that uh, the College Fund has partnerships with, um, like the Cobell Scholarship, uh, partner organization events, um, student staff and family um, resources and events are always um, shared um, on this newsletter. Um, in order to sign up for it, you would just go to our website. It's www.collegefund.org. You scroll to the bottom and there's a place, um, there's like a box where you can sign up um, for that newsletter. I'm going to drop that in the chat now. Sorry, I think my slide's jumping around as I use my mouse here. If you are a um, high school um, partner, a tribal college um, staff member, a um, tribal or um, educational organization um, staff member, I really highly encourage you to sign up um, yourself for um, our um, newsletter, but also to share this with the students and the staff and the community that you work with, because this is one of the best ways um, to learn about um, the public events that we hold throughout the year. And there are many of them, but also we share information from partner organizations and other scholarship organizations that we work with as well. <clears throat> Moving on to my department, College Readiness. Um, I uh, oversee two programs. They're called the Higher Pathways Program and the TCU Preview Program. And those generally um, follow or the service areas are generally where tribal colleges are, and they generally, so the Higher Pathways is, is specifically for um, high schools that are on or near um, a reservation. They typically have very high populations of um, Native students that are served, um, and they also tend to be, um, they tend to be um, somewhat near or work with um, tribal colleges in their area. Although that's not um, a complete requirement, we do um, encourage um, partnerships between the high schools and um, the tribal colleges in their area. So this is our general survey map. Um, and it, it's a little, it kind of fluxes every, every year um, based on um, who applies, um, but that's kind of what it generally looks like each year. And then the uh, TCU preview um, programs are grants that we offer specifically to tribal colleges um, to, that are looking to promote um, their tribal college to first year uh, prospective students. That could be high school students, um, students enrolled in a high school equivalency or GED program. It could be non-traditional students um, who are coming maybe uh, at a later stage in life um, to um, learn and explore um, tribal college as an option. Um, for those um, of you that are, are high schools, uh, that are high school representative that are interested in connecting with us, um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of more context of the Higher Pathways program and the grant um, that we offer. Um, this grant um, is specific for high schools, but it, we also do um, fund um, tribal and educational organizations under this grant um, to serve um, Native youth. And the, the goal of this is really to uh, build um, college readiness as a school or organizational culture. And um, we do that by um, um, allowing uh, grantees to um, focus on goals such as um, increasing student FAFSA, FAFSA awareness and completion, um, 
cultivating um, student family and staff awareness of tribal colleges. You see, wherever you see it says TCUs, that stands for Tribal College and University. Um, so increasing awareness of TCUs as an affordable option, um, conduct high school to um, tribal college bridge programming, um, and increasing high school student awareness of an application to our scholarship. So those are kind of the focus goals of what this grant um, does. Um, and the grant partners, once they are onboarded, they don't just get funds from us, they actually get all of our wraparound services. Um, so throughout the year, um, our department really works on um, sending out uh, communications about um, opportunities that we have, such as um, our events, um, the Tribal College um, and TCU Fair, Summer Conference, um, sometimes we run incentive programs to help um, boost FAFSA numbers or full circle scholarship numbers. Uh, we provide um, professional development sessions um, for um, the high school staff that we work with um, for them to uh, discuss a variety of topics that they might be working on, um, such as if they um, need help with um, developing programming um, to support FAFSA completions, or any other, other college readiness um, topics that they um, are interested in. We kind of try to listen to our partners and um, what they're interested in, what's working well for them, um, what they may need help with and to uh, develop um, professional development sessions um, around um, those needs. And then that other um, grant program is um, the TCU preview grant. This is for tribal colleges, like I said, to uh, promote awareness of their tribal college to any uh, prospective first time applicants. And they could do that in a variety of ways. They can use this grant to um, host um, and incentivize um, recruitment activities such as campus visits, um, whether students are coming to their campus and getting a tour, um, or um, they're holding like an actual college readiness workshop at their campus. Um, that could look like a, a really wide variety of different activities. Um, they can also use these funds to facilitate recruitment events in community spaces, um, such as like at a local high school or college fair. Um, some of them use the grant to um, host um, summer prep programs to support high school equivalency um, or even high, uh, just high school to college transition. Um, and then um, they also use these funds to um, engage in marketing. So if they have marketing needs and they need flyers um, or they're doing, uh, you know, radio, um, uh, radio spots um, on their TCUs, they can use the grants to uh, market their school as well. And then incentives, um, both the, the higher pathways and the TCU preview grants, we really highly encourage like incentives are an okay thing to use the grant funds for. If it boosts um, a, a awareness and participation in, in your events, um, that's a great thing. So um, I would make sure to always, you know, put that shout out there as well. All right, so that was a bit about my program. Um, going on to the next department and kind of the programs that they have, the College Success Program, if you remember. Oh, I did that wrong. Hey, I think somebody's got their microphone on. If you can have your microphone off, I'll, at the end, I'll uh, provide a time <laughs> to uh, engage in uh, a Q&A. Please and thank you. Um, our College Success um, Department, if you remember, um, is the department that really works on um, supports for students who are currently in college, specifically students who have received our scholarship. So we wanna make sure our um, full circle scholars um, are really focusing on um, life and balance um, and mental um, health and wellness and cultural wellness and supporting them so that they are able to continue through college until they um, graduate and get a degree. So we have a couple of different programs um, that this team works with. They have a first year's program to support students who are in their first year um, of college. And they also um, work with their scholars to uh, maintain scholarship eligibility um, throughout um, the program. Um, and then those scholars are also um, engaged with a coach. Um, so they assign to a coach with, within the college fund um, that helps them kind of uh, think about their um, academic planning, um, 
what they need to do to support their wellness. And then they offer really great workshops throughout the year. This past year, I noticed they had been putting on homeownership 101 workshops, uh, veterans affairs and education services um, supports. They've done talking circles and cultural uh, well-being and wellness um, and mental health supports as well. And then we they also um, work with the ambassadors program. This is a, a program specifically for college fund um, scholarship um, recipients who um, we identify as uh, potential leaders and we provide them with some uh, leadership opportunities um, to work with the college fund and uh, continue building um, supports and resources and outreach to um, uh, the partners that we work with and, um, you know, kind of helping us um, get the word out about all of the wonderful things the college fund um, has to offer um, our communities. Um, in the TCU Capacity for Success Department, um, there is also the transfer program. Um, the transfer program offers grants to tribal colleges um, to help them um, support um, their transfer programming. Um, so I've got a little flyer here. I will provide um, this uh, all of these slides um, within a couple of days time. The recording will be available um, to watch later. The slides will be available. Uh, probably will take a couple of days just because I know an hour's worth of, of video is a long time. It takes a long time for that to process um, online. Um, so if not this week, then probably next week, um, we'll make sure to send out um, all of the slides with all of the grant opportunities. Um, so if you are a, um, tribal college representative and transfers your area. Um, we have information um, for you on the transfer grants moving into next year. Um, and then last but not least, our career readiness department um, really works on supporting both high school and uh, college students um, and providing them with supports and programming um, to help them get career ready. Um, some of the great resources I'll be talking about in a little bit that are offered um, under this department include Focus 2 and Connect. Um, and this department also does a lot um, to provide um, webinars and workshops um, around professional planning um, for students to engage in, especially our scholars. Um, they've done a, real, a lot of really great um, uh, conferences as well. I think just about a year ago, um, they had one that really went into uh, resume writing and um, just kind of the basics of, you know, plotting out your career and um, like what, what that professional planning, those steps look like um, and interviewing skills and whatnot. Um, they cover a really um, diverse array of things in that career readiness sp space. So we've talked about all of the departments, and now you can see that the College Fund is more than just scholarships. Like we have so many different resources for so many different kinds of organizations. Um, and depending on your organization, you're going to find certain places to plug into or multiple spaces. And that's totally fine. It's not uncommon for our partner organizations to receive um, different uh, grants from us in different spaces and to be working um, with the College Fund in uh, multiple ways. I also wanted to share out our more general resources. Um, so if your organization happens to not quite fall in any of those, um, those grant parameters um, that we have, uh, but you would still like supports and resources, the College Fund does a lot um, that is open to the public. And I, these are what I consider our general resources. Uh, one of the ones that um, really um, is um, one of the, the big resources in my department, uh, but is available for um, all organizations, whether they apply for a grant or not, is our Native Pathways College Going Guidebook. Uh, this uh, guidebook helps um, students to um, think um, about the college going process all the way from uh, pre-college and um, what they need to know to build the vocabulary to consider going to college, what to consider when they're making college choices, all the way through um, graduation and things that they need to know um, as they graduate um, and then preparing for that career readiness um, space. So really, um, you know, a broad um, guide that can that helps students kind of consider and walk through the whole college um, going experience. Uh, 
Um, here's some examples of some of the slides from, um, from the uh, College Readiness Guidebook. Um, one of the, the kind of pre-college pages here kind of walk students through what they should um, consider to, when visiting a college. Um, questions to ask, um, things to plan ahead, um, notes they might want to take, things they might want to see. Another page here kind of um, helps students think through um, how to organize college applications um, and what they should consider when making a choice um, about um, college. Like what, what are their values um, and how do they um, pick a college that helps them align with those, those values. So these pages are really wonderful. They are available online and that's at um, collegefund. Uh, org. I'm actually going to put the direct link here. Give me just a second to find my mouse. Okay. Here is the direct link for that. So that um, uh, Native Pathways College uh, Success page, if you if you scroll down through it, you'll see um, the guidebook. There's a place for you to view the guidebook, and there's also a place um, to record to to request sorry request um, copies of the guidebook if you're an organization that wants to hand these out um, to um, students um, and give give them like a physical copy. Uh, sets can be ordered in uh, sets are consist of um, 30 booklets and you can order up to two sets per um, organization. Um, so this uh, guidebook has um, been utilized in a lot of uh, our partner schools. And so some of our schools actually do um, classes like college readiness classes um, around um, the guidebook and students engage in assignments, um, checking this out. And then some other schools will use this, they'll just have like a library of these that they keep and they use this as a resource and maybe they pull them out a couple times of the year as they're talking about um, the relevant topics and pages there. Um, and then uh, parents and students um, always enjoy picking these up at um, college um, fairs as well. So if you have a college fair and you wanna have a, a set or two of these, um, you can feel free to re use that website to request um, physical copies of that. There is not a cost um, associated with the, with the ordering these. Um, Dorothea, these are just uh, free resources that we provide um, to the community. Great question. Um, in addition to um, that, we have um, checklists by grade on that same exact page that I shared. So there's like a ninth through 12th grade checklist of what students um, should start um, thinking about when um, they are engaging in college readiness um, and parts of the process that they need to make sure that they're hitting as they get through each grade. And we know when we get to senior year, uh, students tend to um, have so much going on um, and it can be very overwhelming for them to know like, oh, I need to make sure that um, I've applied for my scholarships, that I've done the FAFSA, and I've done all of these pieces to get me to college. Well, the checklists um, help students and um, the checklists actually encourage students to consider um, building um, their uh, college uh, resumes and um, taking um, like the uh, essay, you know, the uh, pre-SATs, um, early um, and um, just helping them think through college and not have it just be on that last final year. So a really great resource on that same uh, page as well. And uh, these um, are printable, so you, you should be able to print them out. On that page as well um, is our new, um, this year, uh, Tribal Colleges and Universities Exploration Guide. Um, this guide um, has been a big hit this past spring um, with a lot of our partners, not just high schools, but um, we've had tribal college representatives engage with this guide. Um, this year, we did a um, tribal college scavenger hunt that was open to the public. We put it on our, our Facebook pages. It was on um, um, all of our social media um, handles and we had a lot of engagement with um, this guide where people were going through and um, finding fun facts um, throughout for the scavenger hunt. And uh, we were seeing um, a lot of audience engagement where um, staff um, from 
tribal colleges and high schools and organizations learn so much about um, the 35 accredited tribal colleges across the United States and what they um, have to offer in degree uh, programs and also wraparound services. Um, and our students have been really enjoying engaging with this guide as well. Uh, so you can go to that same page. This one does not, we do not have a printed copy yet um, since it's so new, but I wanted to kind of give you like a little overview of what a page here looks like. So each page has a the name of the tribal college. Um, they are organized by um, location. So all of the ones from Arizona will be um, all together. All of the ones from like uh, Montana will be together. And then um, you'll see that it's a lot of uh, facts that are just really eye-catching, grab and go ready if you wanted to, wanted to help students um, explore um, their options. So they can um, look and see if student housing is available, if athletics um, or dual credit programs are available offered at that tribal college. And then we include a couple bullet points of just fun facts um, to share with um, students and families to kind of learn a little bit more about the um, culture and um, the diversity and the richness of the offerings that we have at these tribal colleges. Um, in addition to our college readiness um, resources, um, the career readiness um, department also has um, their um, general set of resources. And I can drop that link in the chat here in just a moment. They have a career pathways guidebook, kind of like the college going guidebook. Um, it kind of walks students um, through everything they need to know. Um, but this one really focuses on uh, career pathways and career readiness. Um, so you'll find um, all sorts of resources um, for students to learn about, like preparing for interviews and creating a resume. Here's a couple of the pages that are offered in that. Um, so kind of the things they should think about um, when creating a resume. There is an example of a, co a cover letter here, and it kind of walks through like, what does the format, what should formatting look like? So another really wonderful resource. So let me grab that link for you here, and I will share that page as well. Okay, so that page for um, this guidebook is available. I don't believe there is an ordering form for this um, for this guidebook. Uh, we do have some printed copies. So if you were interested in getting a couple of printed copies, I'm not sure if we do those in sets or not, um, but if you're interested in um, getting like a copy of this to see what it looks like, um, please feel free to reach out at reach out to us at nativepathways at collegefund.org. I'm dropping that link in the chat right now. That is the best way to get a hold of us. This uh, Native Pathways um, email is a shared um, email among all of our team members. So as long as you let us know what it is you're looking for, that helps um, us as we look through that um, that inbox to direct your um, your inquiry to the correct department. Um, just let us know um, what you're interested in and we'll be happy to help. All right, um, and some of the other resources offered by Career Readiness include um, Focus 2. Um, as you can see from the page here, uh, Focus 2 really helps students with professional planning, uh, including career exploration and college um, selection. Um, helping um, individuals create a career and education plan for their future. Um, you can uh, create a profile through this. The access code is college fund. Um, again, I will make sure that this um, this slide gets sent out once we send out the recordings, if not the end of this week, the next week, um, so that um, you have access to this. And we highly encourage you to share this with students and families as well. And then we also have Connect for uh, networking and mentoring. This uh, platform allows you to identify professionals from a specific school or particular field and ask them questions about their experience. Um, they also post job jobs and internship opportunities on the platform. Um, so a lot of really just great resources um, for uh, the students and the communities that we work with. And then in addition to all those kind of like specific um, departmental resources that we offer to the public, 
We also do um, events and programming throughout the year. And I just wanted to show you a couple of, of examples of what that looks like. Um, we have a TCU or Tribal College and University Fair um, each year. It's it was it's usually in November. Last year was kind of November and end of November, start of December. Um, it it has been three days virtual. Um, we've had 15 to 18 uh, tribal colleges um, spread out over the, each of the days, and pretty much everybody is invited to attend. Uh, it's been really popular with high school, current college students who might be looking to transfer, um, especially if they're interested in um, transferring to a tribal college, and all staff as well. Uh, we do offer FAFSA workshops throughout the year. Um, those are also open to the public. Um, here's just an example of one that we had just this past year. Um, we actually did these in a series. We did like two or three of them um, this past fall um, and we had recordings. And so whether you were able to attend live or not, um, we offered recordings and we had classes um, hold watch parties uh, where um, they would put um, the webinar up on like a big screen in an auditorium and um, all of the students sat and um, were able to engage. We had like Mentimeter engagements for we were able to hear from them, even though it was a webinar setting. Um, and we offered prizes, um, whether students were attending live or the recording, as long as they turned in um, like a survey by um, a certain deadline, we usually gave them like a week or two. Um, so really uh, great opportunities for families and um, and students to learn about FAFSA. But we've also heard from our staff um, who maybe haven't done FAFSA in a long time. Maybe they haven't been to college in, uh, I know for me, I was like 10 years ago, maybe a little bit over. Um, and we know FAFSA changes every year. The application constantly gets updated. So this is a great chance for um, staff also to just kind of engage with, with uh, FAFSA and um, hear the language that is used. And we try to um, really work on best practices and building that language as we go. So starting with um, um, starting with uh, language that's really student um, friendly and kind of building in the vocabulary as we go. Uh, you are here at summer conference, so I don't need to say a whole lot about this, but this is offered annually in summer. Um, and we have uh, workshops for um, high school students, staff, um, college students, um, and that's an um, ongoing annual um, thing that we are offering. Um, and that's scholarship workshops. These are some of our po most popular workshops. Um, They're offered through the spring semester when, um, the when our scholarship opens up in February 1st. Um, and we um, have um, many different um, webinars that kind of focus on everything from like just general, how do you set up a profile um, and get on our website to um, panels with students talking of students who have gotten our scholarship talking about best practices as they filled out their scholarship um, Q and A's um, lots of really great um, scholarship uh, workshops on a variety of things that your students and family might be wondering about and then um, our career readiness also does the internship expo um, which is designed to support scholars um, to find apply and land um, an internship. And this is offered um, annually during the late fall um, with some additional programming in the spring. And then last but not least, um, if you are interested in any of these resources and you want to learn more, um, I really highly encourage all, um, all organizations, staff, um, all um, high schools, all tribal colleges, um, all families, all students, to sign up for our newsletter. If you go to www.collegefund.org and you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you will see this little box that says get updates and news. You can uh, plug in your uh, name and email and um, receive updates throughout the year um, of all of the events as we roll them out. Um, so this is really the best way to connect with us. So um, as we've reached the end of our presentation, I just wanted to stop um, and ask if anybody had any questions, feel free to put them on the chat. Um, if there were resources that um, you learned about uh, or you're excited about utilizing, like what was what spoke to you? I'm really just curious to see um, what you were interested in about. Or if you have um, resources that you've worked, if you've worked with the College Fund in the past and you've utilized a specific resource, if you wanted to share with the group what that resource was 
and how it impacted your community, go ahead and uh, put that in the chat. So this is just our just uh, open call for questions, um, thoughts, comments. Uh, Jared, I see you have a question on outreach to school counselors. Um, yes, we do have um, a network of uh, school counselors that we've been working with for the Higher Pathways program. So if your school happens to fit the eligibility requirements for that grant, um, then we try to outreach um, to um, those schools. And um, once they become grant partners, then throughout the year, we offer, um, I usually do like a Monday um, updates on like, hey, here's a reminder about our scholarships. Hey, we're offering this incentive for students to apply for our scholarships by such and such window. Um, professional development um, is often offered to school counselors. Um, so yes, we do have outreach um, for our Higher Pathways grant eligible um, schools. And some of our schools don't fall in, under that, uh, but they still want to be um, updated about um, resources and offerings. And that's where I encourage them to sign up for our newsletter because a lot of our events are actually public. They're not just necessarily for um, those grantees. Felicia, we're going to be emailing the um, all attendees within, if not this week, then next week when the uh, recording is available and we'll make sure to share the um, slide deck as well. So we, we have um, basically an attendance list of who's attending um, based on how you registered. And so we'll make sure to um, email um, all of the attendees today with all of these resources. Thank you. All right, last call. Are there any other questions or thoughts? I'm going to put in our two websites or well, I'll put in our website one more time and then the, the um, email that you can reach out to us if you have further questions. All right, collegefund.org is our website. And if you wanted to reach out to one of the team members, if there was some resource that you were really excited about and you would like to um, connect with us further, please feel free to reach out to us at Native Pathways at collegefund.org. Those are both in the chat again. Thank you so much for um, attending today's um, session. Um, earlier, we talked about um, partnerships. A lot of the partnerships um, that we're engaging with, um, they're engaging um, specifically through that newsletter or um, some of these um, resources. That's, um, that's where a lot of that groundwork is happening. So um, I hope to see you connect with us in the future if you have not done so. And for our partners who are here today that have um, established connections with us. We're so excited to have you. Thank you so much for attending today's event. And I think we're gonna have some closing remarks in the main stage. So feel free to go ahead and um, log off and go check that out. I'll hang out just for another moment in case anybody has any questions. Koyana, thank you for attending this session. Have a good rest of your day.